Hello everyone. The topic is on the government policies for sustainable agriculture in India and their impacts. 1. Introduction. Introduce the concept of sustainable agriculture, farming practices that balance productivity, environmental care, and farmer welfare. Introduce the concept of sustainable agriculture, farming practices that balance productivity, environmental care, and farmer welfare. 2. Current challenges in agriculture. Soil degradation and loss of fertility. Overuse of fertilizers and pesticides. Declining groundwater levels. Impact of climate change, erratic rainfall, droughts, floods. Farmer income challenges and migration. Use visuals like maps, charts, or short clips of farmers or dry lands. 3. Major government policies. Present key initiatives promoting sustainable agriculture. Here are some government policies about the developing the Indian farming. A. Paramparagat Krishi Vikas Yojana. PKVY. It is a central government scheme launched in 2015 to promote organic farming. PKV focus on cluster-based organic production and it offer end-to-end -end support production, processing, certification, and marketing to facilitate a complete organic value chain. B. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana PMKSY. The goal of this yojana is, per drop more crop. It promotes efficient water use, drip sprinkler irrigation with the slogan har ket ko pani c soil health card scheme provides farmers with data on soil nutrients helps reduce overuse of fertilizers d national mission for sustainable agriculture nmsa supports climate resilient farming integrated nutrient and pest management promotes agroforestry and conservation agriculture Launched in 2010, NMSA aims to promote integrated and sustainable agricultural practices, particularly in resource-depleted and climate-sensitive regions of India. E. PM Kusum Scheme The PM Kusum, Pradhan Mantri Kizan Urja Saraksha Evam Utan Mahabian, scheme is a comprehensive initiative launched by the Government of India to promote renewable energy, particularly solar power, in the agricultural sector. Its primary goals are to enhance energy and water security, increase farmers' income, and reduce reliance on diesel pumps, thereby supporting environmental sustainability. 4. Impacts of these policies Government policies like PKVY, NMSA, and PM Kusum have had significant positive impacts on sustainable agriculture in India by promoting eco-friendly practices, resource conservation, and farmer welfare. Positive Impacts of Government Policies on Sustainable Agriculture Promotion of Organic Farming Schemes like PKVY foster organic farming through cluster techniques and local certification, improving soil health, reducing chemical use, and delivering better income to farmers by encouraging chemical-free cultivation. Soil and Water Conservation NMSA advances sustainable water management via watershed development and micro-irrigation techniques, which help conserve water and restore soil fertility, crucial for long-term agricultural sustainability. Climate Resilience Both NMSA and PM Kusum emphasize climate-adaptive strategies such as drought-resistant crops, diversification, and renewable energy integration to make farming resilient against climate change and extreme weather events. Renewable Energy Integration PM Kusum promotes solar-powered irrigation, reducing dependence on fossil fuels, cutting greenhouse gas emissions, lowering farmers' energy costs, and enabling surplus energy generation for the grid, thus supporting eco-friendly energy transitions in agriculture. Increased farmer income, financial incentives, subsidies, and better market linkages under these policies boost farmer incomes through cost savings on inputs and enhanced organic produce marketing, creating livelihoods aligned with sustainable practices. Capacity Building and Awareness Training and certification under PKVY and knowledge dissemination in NMSA enhance farmer awareness of sustainable techniques, 
empowering communities to adopt and sustain environmentally sound agriculture. Reduction in environmental degradation. By encouraging less chemical usage, better irrigation management, and renewable power usage, these schemes contribute to lowering pollution and preserving biodiversity in agricultural areas. 5. Future outlook and recommendations suggest what more can be done, strengthen farmer education and digital access. Encourage climate smart technologies. Increase incentives for organic and regenerative practices. Improve coordination between local governments and farmers. 6. Conclusion, sustainable agriculture is not just about growing crops, it's about securing our future. With the right policies and support, farmers can lead the way toward a greener, self-reliant future. Thank you.